as we're going to spend time here in God's word, celebrating the Lord's table, we want to make sure that there's a copy of God's word in everyone's hands. So the men are going to come up and they're going to hand out Bibles. So if you don't have a copy of God's word, just go ahead and raise your hand and they would love to place that in your hands. And uh, if you need, you can also take that home. That would be our gift to you. We're going to be in God's word this morning in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 26. Very familiar passage here in 1 Corinthians 11, verses 23 through 26. This is the time in our service that we get to partake in the Lord's Supper. And the purpose of this time is to remember and proclaim is to remember what Jesus accomplished on the cross. And as we do this, we proclaim his death until he returns. Please follow along as I read in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 26. For I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink, this, and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Verse 23 tells us that it was the Lord Jesus who initiated this special meal. And he did it when he was just a mere hours from going and suffering on the cross. In verse 24, when he had given thanks, when Jesus had given thanks, he took that loaf of bread and he broke it apart and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And here we, we take, when we take the bread, which for us is a little gluten-free cracker, Jesus wants us to remember his body, and as verse 24 says, is for you. Is for you. If you're one of his, and you've submitted your life to his lordship, then his body was given for you, Christian. Remember that. In verse 25, it says, in the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Notice in verse 25 that Jesus says, my blood, his blood. This is not the blood of bulls or goats that the Jewish context would have been very familiar with. But this is Jesus's blood. His precious blood perfectly and completely satisfies the wrath of the Father for all of your sins, past, present, and future. As you drink the cup this morning, remember that. And verse 26 tells us when we eat the bread and when we drink this cup, we are proclaiming the Lord's death. We're proclaiming by our actions that our Lord and Master suffered death at the cross. And how long are we to do this? In verse 26, it says, until he comes. Our Lord suffered death, but he also conquered it. He conquered it and he is alive and he is going to return if you're here this morning and you would admit that you have not submitted your life to the Lord, then we'd ask when the elements come by, when the tray comes by, that you would just simply pass that on by. This is a time for his people to remember and proclaim. And by your own admission, you can't remember or proclaim that which you do not believe. However, there's one thing I want you to remember. It, Jesus is coming back. And you have the opportunity to turn from yourself and turn to Christ. 
please talk to me and one of the other pastors, the person who brought you. We would love to talk to you about what it means to submit your life to the Lord. Believer, as you take this bread and this cup, remember Jesus' body that was given for you. And remember his blood, his blood is what satisfies the wrath for your sins. When your hearts are prepared, please go ahead and take communion on your own.